welcome to another YouTube video, everybody. It is an ungodly hour of the morning. It's like fucking just after five, and I'm at work in full makeup. Because why not? Brody had to go to work early, so I'm at work early. We're going to get some shit done. So I got approached by this very cool lady. Uh, you may have seen some of my previous sewing videos. I'm wearing the measuring tape. See? Get ready. It's another sewing video. And you may know that I have made a Lily Munster inspired dress. You may know that I have made a Morticia inspired dress. Who else can we do? Do any of you out there like the Mistress of the Dark, Elvira? I sure do. And I'm very excited. I got approached by this woman to make her an Elvira dress for the spooky month of October. Uh, and I'm very excited to do it. And I do believe that anybody could and should dress as Elvira because she's fantastic. I don't give a shit what kind of figure you have. I believe that everyone deserves to be Elvira. But if you want to look authentically like Elvira, you have to have a very large bosom, which I obviously do not. If any of you guys have seen my videos, I am in the itty bitty titty committee in the goth world. But this lady is quite uh, hourglass figured, shall we say. So I believe that this Elvira is going to look fucking stellar on her. I'm really excited. So she came in. I took all of her measurements. Uh, we've got some really cool supplies. And let's get started making Elvira. What else are you going to do at fucking five in the morning, right? See? What a horrible, what a horrible, horrible time of morning. 5.30 a.m. exactly. So, and... It's still dark outside. It's still dark outside. I don't appreciate this. But we're going to get a lot done. I also have this Elvira VHS movie that I'm going to watch today while I make this dress because, you know, it's going to be a theme day. Okay, so here's my supplies. So I have this beautiful uh, soft black spandex. Um, I suggested velvet, but apparently she has cats and she didn't really want the cat hair to stick to it. So we went with a nice black spandex. We've got some black leather here. We're going to do uh, the belt out of black leather. And then we have this beautiful lace trim you may remember from, well, various things that I've done, but uh, my birthday dress of 2021 had this lace on it, and I absolutely fucking love it. So instead of the, like, jagged, like, tattery hem that Elvira has, we're going to do uh, this pointed lace instead because she wants it to read more like a, a real wear dress that she could wear for other stuff than, than a, you know, Halloween costume. So let's get started cutting! Okay, so now we have this. I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, this is going to be the shirt here. Uh, I've got the zipper. I forgot I needed a zipper, so thank goodness I had one. This is going to be the skirt, and that's the big long slit right there. So we're just going to put all this aside. I'm just going to move it over to the sewing machines, and I am going to cut out the leather belt next. Okay, we have the belt cut out such as it is. So normally when I do these, I Velcro, um, put Velcro here so she can just wrap it around and Velcro it. But she decided that she wanted to lace it up at the back. So instead, we're going to sew this together. And I've cut both ends and I'm going to put some grommets uh, in here. So that way, if she changes, like gains or loses weight, the belt will still fit her. I have to find the dagger still. So I might be making a trip to a toy store this afternoon. And uh, it's time to actually go over there and get sewing. Okay, so now we have this. It doesn't look like much so far, but it's coming, I promise. So this is the back of the shirt. I've got the zipper in it. This is the front of the shirt, which I obviously have to do a lot of cutting out down here, which I'm going to do coming up next. The belt I haven't done anything with. And this is the skirt, which is basically put together. So I'm going to put uh, mark out the waistband and put an elastic in here so she can try it on. And then I'm going to sew, cut the neck out, sew this together. And then we're going to be ready for our first fitting. How exciting. Okay, so now we're here. So the top is basically sewn together. I did cut this out. I think it's going to have to go lower, but I'm going to wait for her to try it on because you can always cut more. But if I cut it down here and she didn't like it, then I'd be fucked. So we're going to wait for her to put that on. 
The skirt is sort of sewn together. It has like a waistband. Again, I think the slit is going to have to go higher. I think it's going to have to go up to this mark, but I can always cut it away. So we're going to leave that for now. Uh, the belt, I haven't done anything with. I did call her for a fitting and luckily she's available today. So she's coming in soon. So I'm just going to stitch that real quick before she gets here. And then we get to do our first fitting. Yay! Okay, welcome to my little workbench area here. So I have the belt sort of sort of half-assed put together, not very well, but anyways. So I need to, she wants to lace it up at the back, like I said, so I need to set some grommets into here. I'm probably only gonna put like two or three in there. So I've got my grommet setter, I've got my anvil, I've got a couple of hammers, I've got my hole punch set, I've got a big bag full of grommets. So uh, let's do this. Looks pretty great, right? Yeah, looks pretty good. Now I just gotta find a piece of lacing for it and we're ready for her fitting. Okay, hooray! This is me going hooray with my hands. She has come for her first fitting and everything went fucking swimmingly. So the outfit is back on the table. The belt fits great. Um, we're gonna make some small adjustments to the top. We're just gonna cut this like a little bit wider um, and I have to cut back the back of the shoulders a little bit and we're gonna slice this neck down to here because I mean, if you're gonna do Elvira, do Elvira right. The skirt fit amazingly. We're just going to hem it just a little bit at the bottom. These are my hem marks. And then I can keep on sewing. Let's do this. Okay, so now we have this. I made all the adjustments. You can see my chalk lines there. We cut this out really deep. <laughs> That's going to be so much boobies. I'm so excited about it. Made the adjustments to the skirt. So now I'm ready to cut out the sleeves and actually get to finishing this. Woohoo! We have sleeves. Cut the sleeves out. So shoulder, armpit, bell sleeve. Now I'm going to go over the sewing machine. Oh my God, you guys, the skirt is done. The skirt is done. Look at that slit. Ooh la la. So just a waistband. I just put a little bit of elastic in the waist so it holds up on her good. And then we've got the slit here. It goes all the way down into this beautiful lace, which I absolutely can't get enough of this stuff. It's gorgeous. I think that looks really nice instead of the tattery. I think this is going to read like a beautiful um, gothic dress more than a costume, which is exactly what she's hoping for. <sighs> Time to finish the top. All right, so now we're here. Welcome to the end of day one. Uh, we're ready for the final fitting for her. So I interfaced the back of this neck and laid some elastic along it so that it's it's stronger and it didn't stretch and get all wobbly. Um, we cut it all the way down to here. So I don't know, that's a lot of boobies. Hopefully this works and doesn't, I don't know, fall off and show her nipples to everybody. There might be tape involved. Um, sleeves, I just need to check the sleeve length with her before I sew the trim on it, but it looks super beautiful. And then the belt, I have to go on a hunt to find um, the dagger. So, to be continued. The next day. All right, so I looked literally everywhere for a fake knife. Toy stores, everything, and nobody had one. So I thought, fuck that. A friend of mine who does knife throwing gave me this. So we're going to just use a real knife. I'm just going to dull that with my grinder so nobody gets hurt. Uh, and then I've got some uh, foam here. So I'm going to trace out a template uh, for the handle, which is going to sit on top of there. And then I've got my huge ass roll of warbla here. We're gonna warbla our own handle because screw that. And I found all these jewels. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna make our own Elvira dagger. So I'm gonna sit here with the pen and trace this all out. And then hopefully we'll be done soon. Right, so apparently the footage didn't work. That's fucking annoying. Anyway, we're here now. Looks pretty great, right? So far, that's a good shape of her handle. Um, you can kind of see the handle like through the back of it here, but I, I'm not gonna worry about that because that's gonna be against her body. So this is now dull. I'm sorry the footage didn't work, but you're not gonna cut yourself on it. And uh, we're gonna spray paint and then start adding jewels. Come on camera, work. 
All right, welcome to this part. I'm back in the workshop bench area and uh, I'm going to spray paint it gold. So I just have to, this red jewel that I want to use for the handle has little uh, nubs on the back of it. So I'm just going to heat gun the knife. I'm just going to heat gun the knife and press it in so I know where the nub's going to sit. And then we're going to spray paint it. Let's hope the fucking camera works, huh? you guys it is done or as done as it's gonna get i know it's not like it's flat it's not authentically elvira's knife uh but considering how big her boobies are she probably doesn't want anything that's any more 3d than this this is gonna sit nicely and for the purposes of her costume will work just fine so now all i have to do it's hanging right here is finish sewing the trim on the sleeves and i'm finally done how exciting oh my god you guys it's done it's done. Check it out. So we got the lace on the bell sleeves. Look at this neckline. Holy Jesus. That's the waist. And that's the neckline. Like that is, that is serious. We got the belt done. I put a little velvet loop to hold the dagger in. That's elastic. So it holds up real good. I shook it around. It's definitely not coming off. I'm going to put it on the mannequin so you can get the full view. Although the mannequin's not going to fill out the, uh, the boobies the way I would like, but it'll give you an idea. Oh my God, you guys check it out. It's done. Check it out. I put it on the mannequin and it's done. It uh, obviously does not fit the mannequin correctly. You can see the like massive gapping that's going on in the boob area because my mannequin is not uh, proportioned like uh, the Mistress of the Dark is, that's for sure. But you can get a, a view of it here anyways. Check out the skirt with all the lace and the beautiful lace like on the bell sleeves and the slit. Look at this slit. That's really high. I love that. We got the belt with the dagger that I made. And then the very, 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 very plunging neckline with um, some severe gappage at the moment. So next thing is for Elvira herself to show up and model this for you so that it doesn't look like shit on my misproportioned mannequin. But uh, here we go. Get ready for some boobies. Oh my God, you guys, aren't you excited? The real Elvira has agreed to come film with us. Check this out. of an Elvira inspired, again, I know it's not exact to what Elvira wore, but we decided against the tattery bottom and stuff, like I said, for, for obvious reasons, so she can wear it like afterward and it doesn't look like super costumey. So I actually really love the way it turned out. And like, can you think of a better person to do Elvira? Like she looked fucking stunning. It looked amazing. Uh, she promised me some pictures and some video when she uh, gets around to doing some filming for Halloween, but I was really pleased that she showed up here and you got to see it on her body because obviously it, it's not, it's not going to work like on my mannequins and stuff because they just, they just do not have Elvira's figure. So I had a really fucking good time doing this. So now we've done Lily Munster, we've done Morticia, we've done Elvira. I can't really think of any more classic horror ladies that we could do other than maybe Vampira. And I don't know if anyone's going to ask me for that. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this fabulous spooking sewing, spooky sewing video. Spooky sewing video. And if you did, if you could please give it a thumbs up, that would be amazing. If you want to subscribe to my channel for more sewing content and other weird shit, you certainly should. If you want to follow me on any of the things, I have all of them. We're going to list them all below in the links, um, social media. I have a Depop if you want to check out secondhand shit, Kofi.com slash Mad Mad Synth if you want to buy me a Kofi and support me, that'd be cool. And I think that's it. Like, subscribe, follow me on social media, buy me a Kofi if you want to. Let me know what you thought of the Elvira dress and which one of the three dresses that I've done so far is your favorite. I'm interested to hear that, Lily, Morticia, or Elvira. And I will see you guys all around for my next fabulous gothy sewing video.